Hi everyone, thanks for visiting back with me today. What you are looking at is this big crazy box that I have that hangs on the wall in my craft room. I had a special request from Sarah. Hi Sarah. Um, not just from Sarah. Uh, she's the one that made it the most abundantly clear that she, she wanted to see this particular thing up close. So here it is. I can't even get the whole thing in the screen because it is just so big. But um, there were other people that asked about it. I just never really did decide to pull it off the wall until Sarah asked because she's so sweet about how she asked to see it. So I'm going to do a quick little overview of this so that you can see. And if you hear that little dog barking in the background, that's my little dog throwing a hissy fit because of the neighbors. So, okay, there, we'll fix that. Okay, so what this is, this, um, I wasn't sure the company where I bought this, so I did a little quickie investigation. Um, it is a Kaiser Craft. It's made from the MDF wood. This part, you know, all the framework and everything is MDF wood. These little boxes and things, these are made from really heavy duty chipboard. They're kind of pre-scored on the bottom so that everything folds nicely. Um, yeah, but MDF wood, it is the 25 drawer treasure chest. And that number is SB2135. I'm not sure whether this is still available or not. Um, I do know that Kaiser Craft actually has a download for how they decorated theirs and that sort of thing. It's not done in this way because I did mine in the way that I wanted. But to do these little drawers, you have to actually fold everything up and... Um, do all the little gluing and whatnot. So I folded mine, glued it, and then I painted it. And I just painted it with black acrylic paint. And then I I wanted to make sure that the paper that I put on actually stuck and stayed. Now I could have just glued it on, which would have been perfectly fine, but I actually ended up using decoupage. So I inked everything and I measured all the stuff so that I could fit it and have that little border around. And I inked it all with, um, hmm, what did I use? I think it was Tim Holtz Black Soot. And inked everything, stuck it all on there, and that was perfectly fine. So when you, when you get them, they have like the little finger hole and that sort of thing. But I wanted to kind of kick it up a notch. So what I did, I used these brads and these are from recollections and I just like the fact that they had the little pearl on them and it's actually a brad so you know pardon my nails guys I need my nails done but see so like a little brad right and so I put it on there first and I didn't like the fact that see when you stick it in there it sticks flush on the edge I didn't like that I thought you know what I can just pop a hole in there and put that on and won't that be cute and then I thought well okay you know what you can't actually get a hold of it if you wanted to use it as an actual drawer pull. So worked it out in my head a little bit, thought and thought and thought, okay, what am I going to do with it? What am I going to do with it to kind of kick this up? So I thought, you know what? I'm going to use a little nut. Yes, of all things. Look at that. See? An actual, get in the screen. There we go. An actual nut, like the kind that goes on the end of a screw, right? See? A nut. So what I did, I went and I found some really small ones, and I don't know if you can actually see that in there. Let's see if we can get it. Is it even focusing? Can't tell. Sorry, guys. I don't know. Maybe you can see it in there. See? Little tiny nut. And I painted those black. And all I did was I just took a sponge dabber and just dabbed them with the, the black soot. And then, because this one is like way too big, but I stuck that through that little hole and hit it with a little bit of glue. Now, mind you, this one is way bigger than the one that I actually used. So I did that, punched a hole in this with the crocodile, and I measured them all so that all the holes are in the exact same spot, and then stuck that through. And I don't know if you can actually see that in there. Maybe not. Hmm. But once I push the edges down on that, maybe a little bit. I just hit it with a little bit of some silicone so that it would stay down and not pull back out. But it actually makes that 
brad stick out a little bit so it's like you got a little bit of a drawer pull right there so same super cute nothing fabulous um like i said just a little bit of decoupage and i did the same thing on the sides there's that put some pearls on it um did the top and that's just a like a little prima thing um say it in pearls and I just cut it down so that it would fit and I decoupage this on as well and all I did was just measure and then cut everything back so I had a little bit of a border on it you can see that border right there so it just had a little bit of a border on it and that's all I did and this side I just threw some stuff on it <laughs> it's not done by any means it doesn't really look like it I want it to and I can always peel these off and just redo I just haven't done it yet because there it sits on the wall but so there's that. Let's see if I can actually turn this puppy over. Um, that means the drawer's got to come out, guys. But it's an actual... It started out as... I kept thinking, okay, I'm going to use it as an advent calendar. And um, the more I looked at it, the more I looked at it, I thought, you know what? All those little bits and bobs that we have in our craft room, those little tiny things... I'll stick those in there, and I ended up, because see, you can see, got a little bit of die cuts and stuff in there on some of them. Um, I I don't use it like I thought I was going to. I just, um, I don't know why. I just, I just don't. I like the way that it looks sitting over there, and, um, you know, there's a little bit of stuff in there. So, but I just, I just don't use it like I thought I was going to. And it's not that I have a problem with that because I really don't. <laughs> I just, I just don't use it. And I like the fact that it's sitting there on the wall. See, I, you know, stuff in there. But, um, I just don't, I don't use it like that. But there's the inside. And, you know, it takes a little bit to kind of glue this together. So I used E6000 when I glued it before I painted it. And here's the back. And to hang it on the wall, I just put two soft tooth hangers on it and stuck it on there. But And you can see that it's like the way that it fits. Everything fits together real well. Um, okay, here's the bottom. I don't know if you guys can actually see that. But you can see where the, the pieces go together. So it is really, really stinking sturdy. It's super heavy. Um, you can use it just as a shelf without the drawers. If that's what you choose so uh, it's a really really well constructed box if it's just something that you wanted to use just as a uh, you know just as a shelf piece and it's a you know it's a nice piece to just sit on your on your counter if that's what you want also it is let's see for height it's about three and a quarter thick and got to have the actual mm -hmm, about three and a quarter across it's about 14 inches wide and height wise it is 15 and a half tall so and then you know on the inside like three inches on the on those so these little drawers you can see they're not you know, not very big. It's about two and a half inches, uh, two and three quarters, something like that. And yeah, about two and three quarters. So a cute little box. They can hold any number of things. And this chipboard is really super, super heavy duty. And like I said, once when this when it comes, it's all laid out in like this funky little square. And all you have to do is fold it up. And you cannot get it wrong because it's the way that it's cut. This edge piece is wider than this piece is so that you know those two go into the center and these two go up over the edge so if you can find one of these kaiser craft uh pieces that's what you would do with it so that having been said um yeah it's it didn't take long to put together uh it, it and like i said super super sturdy I, you know, a handy piece to have if it's something that you want to use to put like your little knickknacks or bits and bobs or whatever in it. Um, you could decorate it to put it in 
any room in your house because I still laugh at myself and say, you know what, I could put this in the bathroom and I could put like my makeup or any of those kinds of things in it because, um, you know, I just, I could, I could easily do that. So it's anybody's guess <laughs> how or why or whatever that, you know, you could do that with. So I don't know. I think it would be super cute and don't ask me how I managed, but somewhere along the way I managed to actually, I have like misplaced a box. I don't know how I did it. Um, <laughs> so somewhere in the interim of talking to you guys, I have misplaced a box. Don't ask me how, but I certainly did. Um, yeah. Yeah, don't mind Goldie, folks. She's like losing her noodles. I don't know what did I do with the box. There it is. There it is. Okay, so there you go. Boom. But you could do any pattern, any style, any way, any color, anything that you want to do. It does not have to be painted. I just painted it because that's what I wanted to do. The wood is actually really smooth. Um, it had a rough spot or two. I just hit it real light with a piece of sandpaper and um, smoothed it up before I did what I did. And uh, you could go with, you know, you could, I don't know, uh, you could stain it or paint it with acrylic paint. You can paint it with anything that you want to paint it with. But for me, this is just what I wanted to do to it. So there's that. But there's nothing overly interesting in there and I've only got a thing or two that I actually keep in it and um yeah like down there <laughs> those little yeah just bits and pieces that I punched out of stuff because I didn't have anywhere else to put it so that's where that went but so I don't really use it for you know much of anything I just I just like the way it looks like I said I yeah that's to do buttons but most of my most of my stuff I've moved into other drawers because I just needed different space and I'm rapidly running out of wall space. So <laughs> there you go, guys. Yeah, nothing major, nothing major. But so there you go, Sarah. I hope that answered some questions for you. Um, if you have any other questions or comments, let me know and I will see what I can answer for you. That's just stuck on there with a paper clip. I just put it on there. Nothing in particular other than I just wanted it hang in there. But, uh, yeah. So, Kaiser Craft, look them up. I think you can order online. Uh, there are a lot of companies that actually carry the Kaiser Craft stuff. I'm not sure. I don't even remember. Does Michaels have Kaiser Craft? I have no idea. I haven't been in Michaels in a, about a minute. But um, I don't even remember. So, there you go. <laughs> there's that that's about as good as I can get for you and um, you know should somebody be interested in wanting to buy this let me know maybe we'll work something out because if you can use it that would be absolutely fantastic because right now it just is taking up space in my craft room but um, yeah like I said I could actually stand it up and use it and if it's standing there, ooh, directly underneath the camera. Is it going to focus? So, yeah. But like I said, it stands um, about 15 and a half by 14. And the frame itself is about 14 and a half, the, the actual top of it, because it sticks out a little bit on the sides. But other than that, but it's, it's an absolutely darling little piece to have in your craft room. So, yeah. There you go. Thanks for watching, guys. And um, thanks for commenting and sticking with me. And to all the new subbies, thanks for subscribing. And yeah, so there you go, Sarah. <laughs> Have a good one. Bye now.